that's worth it on its own just for the trip. Well that was a bloody calf burner that. Welcome to Clangothlin. Clangothlin is normally a place you just visit for a day. And by that, I mean, I'd state the obvious, but if you don't live here. But by that, I mean, it's somewhere where you turn up, you park in the car park, you just walk around the, the town, you visit the trains, you look at the water, you go home. So today, and I've got another one planned in the future, I'm here to show that there's a bit more to Clangothlin and if you want to get a bit out of breath and get up in the hills and get better views you can so if you want to see this experience this and walk along this and you're in the right place. So the first get it out of the way kind of thing is something called Castel Dennis Bran Welsh Castle. So it's an old castle, obviously they all are. It's medieval, probably older. And it's right on top of a hill so you can see everything. Now with a bit of luck, <laughs> unlike last week, if I get to the top, the views should be amazing. And I've never been to see the castle. So it's the first on the list. Let's go. coming here yesterday got up everything I checked the weather the day before it looked like it was gonna be fine there's a yellow warning for rain according to the weather forecast I had like a four-hour window that I could have got down where the weather was gonna be lovely anyway got up yesterday morning check the weather forecast all change so me today same sort of situation there's lots of rain forecast for today but there's a four hour window this morning where I might be able to beat it so again early start I parked in a car park in the town centre shop around the one I'm in is a short stay so we're only staying for three hours and let's face it who really comes to Clangotham for just three hours um, so about £2.50 up to three hours, but then it jumps to £7 for the day. Well, this walk's going to take three, three and a half hours anyway, so... So anyway, it's about a mile and a half uphill. 
to where I am now. That's where I'm going. So if you don't like steep inclines, don't come. It is steep. And what's amazing is it really gives you an insight in, into how these people lived back in the day. It is a medieval castle, just said so on the side. Um, but can you imagine living back here, back in the day? You'd have to hike up to this all the time. Probably because it was the safest place to be. So, I can see the outskirts of it. Let's go and see what the rest is like. As amazing as this place is, and it's absolutely stunning. I've still got about six miles left to do, and I can see the greyness gathering, so the race is still on. Let's go and find a pillar. Then about walking boots, I need the bloody skis to come down now. to have a sandwich. Oh, 
Well, this looks safe as houses. I was have spent most of this walk spending more time sideways than a rally car on a forest stage. I'm not looking forward to going down this path. Might end up in the bloody river. Ah, it's not actually on the route. There's something here. I'm on my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on my way. Yeah, yeah. I'm on my way. Yeah. Yes, I'm on my way. Boggy as anything on this field, so I'm just going to admire the pillar from afar. Well, that was a bloody calf burner, that. Whew. Well, if you're not nearly dying, are you barely living? Whew. I hate those sorts of hills, hate them. Um, but whilst I enjoy hill walking, mostly, I love the scenery, I love nature, the running water, the quiet. But sometimes, you need those sort of hills, the ones that really challenge you to make the walk worthwhile because it's only once you conquer the hills that nearly kill you that you can truly sit back and enjoy the rest and at the very end of the walk when you, you're looking back and you, you look at your photographs and you're watching your videos you'll remember the climb and the sense of achievement that it gave you that's that's the essence of hill walking I think nearly kill yourself so you can enjoy it later more words of wisdom for marching with me well I don't think I'm going to outrun the rain because it's starting to drizzle can you hear that? That's what I'm going to see next. This is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many when the old ones gone on the night. And I can feel the sun on my skin. Miles, I mean, Six miles complete, and now a nice leisurely walk along the Clangothlin Canal back to the car. That ever was is a rise. Today, you're not my 
mind.